All right, YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Digital 45, and I was going over my videos yesterday, and I realized I forgot some G's on that last episode of the shelves. We, we went from gray soap to right to hairspray, and that's not, oh, we're missing about 10 G movies that are in between all of them. And we're going to start off with Grifted, Kevin James and Ray Romano. And then we got The Grifters, John Cusack, Angelica Houston, and Annette Benning. This is my favorite uh, John Cusack movie, this one, and uh, Gross Point Blank, which I think is in his pile. Then we got the Grissom Gang, Kim Darby, and uh, Scott Wilson is in that one. And like I said, we got Gross Point Blank next with John Cusack. The Grifters in this one is my two favorite ones with John Cusack. And Better Off Dead is the other one. I really love that one too. But all right, next up we got Bill Murray and Andy McDowell and. Groundhog Day. Next up, we got Adam Sandler in Grown Ups. Followed by Grown Ups 2. Adam Sandler and the Gang is back. <laughs> Next up, we got Chris Pratt and the rest of them in Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the Mondo still book, I believe, that I got. I think it's really cool. You see, it's really freaking cool. <laughs> Next up, we got our favorite space heroes again in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Followed by Guardians, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This is the one that I don't have a slipcover for. I will get it. I ordered it through the mail, and they didn't give me a slip color. I was kind of mad. I thought it would have a slip color, but I'll find it with a slip cover. Or find a slip cover. <laughs> One to two. Next up, we got Ashton Kutcher and Bernie Mac, and guess who? <laughs> and. Our girl from Guardians of the Galaxy, Zoe Zaldana, and Star Trek, of course. You know, she played her, her, her uh, in Star Trek remake. And then we got the Gumball Rally. This came out before Campbell Run about car chases in the race. Next up, we got Gunfight. Followed by Kirk Douglas and Burt Lancaster in Gunfight at the OK Corral. One of their many collaborations of movies they did together. They did a couple. And they usually all, were all good. Very, very good movies. Seven Days in May. Oh, Tough Guys was the last one they did together. <sighs> Can't remember all of them off my head right now. Next up, we got Guns for Hire. Next up, we got Gregory Peck, David Niven, 
and Anthony Quinn and the Guns of Navarone. And last but not least, to wrap up the movies that I forgot, The Gypsy Moth with Burt Lancaster, Deborah Kerr, and Gene Hackman. A young Bonnie Bedelia is in this, and also we got Scott Wilson, I think, is also in this. But check that out. It's a very underrated movie. Very good. If you like movies about skydiving, this one, this movie is for you. All right. I appreciate y'all watching. Please don't forget to give that thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching, and until next time. See ya.